is how much of this influence is coming from the California Medical Association? I want to ask that from Aaron if he knows. Few know more about the California Medical Association or the CMA and its lobbying power than Jerry Hill. Their ability to bring money to the table, to bring support, all factors into their ability to control the medical board and control legislation going forward. And uh, finally, on another subject, why didn't anyone answer Mr. Watkins' question yesterday when he asked how much involvement the CMA had in SB 806? If the CMA had little or no involvement, why not just admit that? By not saying anything, you are tacitly admitting that the CMA has more of a hand in the sunset bill than you care to admit. And that makes you not only look bad, but biased as well. I hope one of you will come clean and talk about the CMA's hand in 806. Thank you. Let me just take the opportunity to please address the misinformation. We just heard and address your question. Questions about whether the CMA is involved in SB 806 or any other matters that come before the legislature should be addressed to the legislature or to CMA. We do not have any knowledge as to what CMA's interest is in that legislation or what their influence is with respect to that legislation. Those questions should be directed appropriately. Sean, let's move on to the next commenter. The former state senator chaired the committee that oversees the board and spent years of his political career trying to make the medical board more accountable. Today, I introduced the Patient Right to Know Act of 2018. The CMA, in your view, is it a powerful organization? Probably one of the most powerful special interests that we have here. They are masters at getting what they want from any legislation. We analyzed the California Medical Association's political contributions and found that since 2015, they've spent nearly $15 million on lobbying and in donations to state candidates. And during Governor Newsom's recall election, CMA gave $750,000 to the California Democratic Party. The access that kind of money secures was evident when this photo surfaced during the pandemic of Governor Gavin Newsom maskless at a Napa restaurant where you can find $50,000 bottles of wine on the menu. Seated with the governor, the California Medical Association's chief lobbyist, as well as its CEO. Governor Newsom has made five appointments to the medical board. Is how much of this influence is coming from the California Medical Association? I want to ask that from Aaron if he knows. Because this is this this bill actually does nothing to to really impact the future of this board in a positive way. It gives us consolation prizes. At at, at some point, we gotta take ownership of the board and like really determine, hey, what is it that we want to do? And what is it that we are going to, how are we going to proceed strategically? Going to the legislature every time, knocking on their door and coming up with another compromise. Then when we don't even know who, we, who we're negotiating with and what, what we are <laughs> negotiating against. But I can tell you, this force that we are negotiating again is way more powerful than the legislature and all, all of us. And I'm, I'm just putting this out there because this is a, this is a conversation that we, we are going to have over and over again.